Hi guys, welcome back to Windows 8 uh, Tutorials. This is me, Josh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to clean install Windows 8. So this is a clean install tutorial, so uh, stay tuned. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to press any key to boot from CD. Then you want to go ahead and come up to this window, and you want to go ahead and press install now. After that, you want to go ahead and select any language, any preference that you have, and then press next, and then enter your product key. And once you have your product key, go ahead and press next as well. And then after that, read the license agreement. And then after that, it would be best to go ahead and click on customize and uh, create a custom installation method. Then after that, it's going to go ahead and show you some Windows 8 advanced drive options. And what you'll do next is you want to go ahead and delete the partition you plan on installing Windows 8 onto which would be probably the largest one after that you want to go ahead and confirm the uh, partition deletion and then just go ahead and press OK and then next you want to go ahead and delete other partitions used by the previous operating system and which would be system reserve after that, you want to go ahead and confirm other partition deletions and just go ahead and press OK. And then you want to go ahead and choose a physical location to install Windows 8, which should be the only drive you should have available. After that, it's going to go ahead and uh, start, and then it's going to go ahead and set up. And after that, once it's all set up, it'll go ahead and restart. You can press OK once it gives you that notification and then it's going to restart your computer and then you should be given some other options uh, which gives you a few basics personalized network you know settings and then sign in uh, this is optional uh, go ahead and choose your color if you want and then the settings settings are a little different uh, I would just use express settings it has to do with updates and whatnot uh, screen filter go and press express and then it would be best if you can sign into a Microsoft account uh, either live outlook.com or MSN after that it's going to be creating a, an account then it'll go ahead and restart and you'll be at the last step of uh, Windows 8 installation so it's pointing out that it's getting all devices ready which is your drivers Alright, so what you're going to be doing is you'll be sitting next, you'll kind of be uh, sitting through a long series of screens, which you are viewing right now. Um, the first several of which explain how, how to work on the Windows 8 interface. Um, this is very important for those that pessimistically say that when you go into the Windows 8 desktop, you're not going to know what to do. Here, Windows 8 gives you a slight uh, slideshow on how to go ahead and navigate through the start menu um, using a tablet. The next uh, slide is going to go ahead and show you how to do it with a mouse on a PC. Um, very creative, I, I would think. And I think this would be involved in any type of OEM uh, PC that you buy online or retail. So what it's showing you is you can move your mouse to any cursor. The charm bar will go ahead and pull up. Go ahead and press the Windows logo, and you'll be taken to the Metro UI. And on the screen, it'll go ahead and show you that you can get back to the desktop too. So there you are. You're back onto the Metro UI or the modern UI or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you're set to go. All you have to do is just click on desktop. You're there, and that's it.